All right, so like, Mr. Fans, we're going to watch something you've never heard of before. Eliza Frazier, otherwise known as The rot Looking Adventures of Eliza Frazier. Let's check it out. Are you always as charming as this? The film starts with a dude getting dressed after spending the night with this lady. Am I getting dressed? Who in God's name are you? And who might I ask? He thought his you? wife was in there with him. And I'm terribly sorry, I... Who thought you were my wife? I can assure you that I am not. But then... The film takes place in 1836, Down Under. The lady in the blue hat is Eliza Frazier, and that's her husband. He's a sea captain. And that's Rory, the guy we saw moments ago. He agrees to take him on board his next voyage. But McBride He's tends to much attention, Eliza. that. Wrong's noticing, the crew are noticing, and I am noticing. You're imagining it, Jay. I'm not imagining it. You know what the man's like. You're placing your reputation in jeopardy. Later on, he gets right. angry at him. We have been sailing now for only five days. As far as I'm concerned, it's five days too long. As of this moment, you are no longer traveling to London aboard this ship. I'm about to tell Brown to change course and steer for the penal colony at Morton Bay, where you can sit and wait for another ship whose captain is ignorant or stupid or both takes you the rest of the way. This is the penal colony where they're headed. That's Trevor Howard. He's in charge Her of the place. Her Majesty has seen fit to appoint me Commandant of Morton Bay. So your the boat arrives and they're guests for a little bit. Yes, I've heard so much about Morton Bay. I thought I should stop off and see it. Take the next boat through. That is if you'll accept me as a guest. Oh, yes, of course. But we never know when the next ship's coming, so you may be here for some time. This guy on the left is David Bracefell, a new prisoner oh, there. You're embarrassing me. And they might take a fancy to each other. But eyes on Rory bid farewell to each I other. I have my faults, and one of them, no doubt, is to tamper with the affections of women. But in God's name, it lies. You're not one of them. <laughs> Trevor oh, Howard might be gay. How? You get into the bed, of course, how do you think? He wants him to warm up his yes, bed for him. Any. Good God, man, don't you understand English? Take your clothes off and get into bed and call him when it's warm. Well, he doesn't have that at all, and he decides to bolt. Now he's escaped. They're on an island somewhere, so he does have places to go. So he ends up in bed. Now... He finds a bed and uh, Eliza goes to meet him, although she thinks she's meeting Rory. Please, Mr. President, please don't hang me. Please. Rory does eventually show up and uh, David hides under the bed. Rory tries to make his move. Eliza decides to help David by causing a diversion by kissing the guard. The next day, the Frasers are leaving. Thank you for your uh, hospitality, Captain. Not at all. David was not to be found. Better luck with the reef this time. Apparently, this is the second time in his captaining history that he ran the ship into a reef. So they have to get on a lifeboat, and they land back on the same island that they left. Although I think it's a pretty big island, because they're nowhere near the prison. They have one musket on the island. The captain wants to stay on the beach because he's heard there are savages on the island. 
but the other guys want to take the musket and go hunting. The captain then feeling, fearing a mutiny, takes off with his wife and they go hiding. The next day they run into these savages, these natives, and they take his captain's coat. They then strip him of his other clothes, most of them, and take him away and separate the two. The women are going to come for Eliza. But they don't kill Captain Fraser. Instead, they put him to work, which he's reluctant to do, but feels he has no choice. Meanwhile, the other men who are still left are drawing lots because they're running out of food and they figure they have to eat one of them. It's going to be him. Meanwhile, they want to marry Eliza. James, you must do something. I think your mother's trying to marry me. Marry you? Eliza runs off and runs right into David, who has escaped and is now joined up with this tribe. Meanwhile, the other castaways have now turned on themselves again. This guy killed everybody and, Captain Fraser Brown, and returns to the group. prison. They were all armed when the massacre occurred? Yes, sir. They were, sir. They were simply overwhelmed by sheer numbers, sir. Oh, get us out of here. Principal, listen to me. You must take Elijah and I back to Malton Bay. We can't stand this life much longer. These two become acquainted. David wants a pardon, and he takes the other prisoner who uh, has some special privileges and says, Let them know I'm here. I'll bring the captain back. Tell Fines that he can hunt for as long as he likes and he won't find me. But if he's willing to grant me a pardon, I can supply him with something he'd be pleased to have. We're not out here chasing you, Davey. We look for Captain Fraser and Eliza. Their ship was wrecked in yeah. Yes, I know that. And I know where they are. Yeah. Well, he decides to want the pardon for himself. That's worth more to me than a pardon. I'll tell you what, Graham. If you locate the Frasers, I'll give you a pardon. Pardon? You can bring Fraser and Eliza back here, you get your freedom on the spot. Did he swear to it in front of the others? He did. He did. But Eliza... In two days' time, you'll be free. You'll be a pardon man. I shouldn't have spoken, sir. I'm sorry. Tell me, Graham. What are you referring to? The one prisoner said that David is having an affair with his wife. Hands above your head, Bracewell. You're coming down with us. James, David's to be pardoned. Pardoned? Huh. Move on ahead, you blackguard, or I'll shoot you on the spot. Graham! And it's John Graham here who has the pardon. John Graham? But it was Bracewell who saved us. Bracewell? What do you mean, my good lady? Take no notice of her, Captain. She's infatuated with the wretch. Well... Eliza cuts him free from his ropes and lets him escape again. And then they make a ruse and kill Captain Fraser, although they were trying to kill Rory. Eliza gets back to civilization, and then she's trying to retrieve her son. not to marry again. That story of that she and Rory then join this circus show where she tells the tale of how she survived the savages. I could do nothing. As day after day, I watched the savages consume the crew, one after another. Did they boil and burst, Miss? Yes, I'm afraid so. Eliza. And then David shows up. Eliza, why are you telling this ridiculous story? Thank you, Your Worship. 
The scoundrel has gained some sort of influence over poor Captain Fraser's widow. I felt I should bring his deception to the court's attention. I'm glad you did, Captain McBride. David, Eliza, and her son decide to flee town. With the authorities in pursuit. Hanging on. But they do get away. The movie ends with Eliza, David, and Rory on a boat heading to parts unknown. But we learn that this was a true story. Captain Green is AKA David. All right, let's talk about Eliza Frazier. Why do I have this movie? Well, uh, years ago, I started looking back through all my cable guides from the 80s and was writing down all the movies that I wanted to get if they ever showed back again. Um, I got them all, then I went back and did a second look and wrote down 167 more movies, including this one. Now, I had never seen this movie. It showed up on cable under the title The Rollicking Adventures of Eliza Frazier, um, and it sounded like some sort of body sex comedy type thing, so I decided to seek it out. I ended up finding the pre-recorded VHS of it at some point in the early 2000s, maybe. Never watched it. Didn't watch it until today, because I picked up the DVD recently. Um, not available on DVD in this country that I'm aware of. This came from Australia, where the movie was filmed. It's an Australian film, exploitation, if you will. Um, and it's, I don't even know quite how to describe this movie. It's got a little comedy, a little sexiness, uh, a little drama, um, action. It's just all over the board. And apparently Eliza Frazier was a real person. I haven't looked up her actual story, but I guess this might be loosely based on a real life story. So Eliza Frazier, She's married to this Captain John Frazier. He's a kind of a portly man. Seems to be quite a bit older than her. Susanna York plays Eliza, by the way. And uh, she has no problem sleeping around with other people. Um, I don't think her husband does much for her in that in the bedroom. Um, they end up sailing to this uh, penal colony um, because uh, there's another guy on board this ship that uh, Captain wants to get rid of because he's been fawning after his wife. So they're going to drop him off this penal colony, this island in the middle of the Pacific somewhere. Um, and uh, they do. Meanwhile, while they're there, they spend the night, and one of the prisoners escapes, ends up in bed with Eliza. She helps him escape, and she, he takes off into the woods, and he's gone. Uh, there are allegedly savages on this island, natives who might be cannibals, who knows. Anyway, the Frasers leave the next day. Uh, Rory, the guy, stayed behind. Um, and then the captain goes out a little ways and he ends up crashing the boat into a reef and they have to, they're shipwrecked on the same island. They're quite a ways away. It's a big island, but nonetheless, they're on the island. And then um, the crew starts to attack each other. Uh, the captain and Eliza run off. They end up running into the natives there who steal the captain's clothes. And then uh, they kidnap both, both of them, basically, but they don't eat them or kill them or anything. They just kind of like make them join their tribe. Well, while they're there, they find David, um, the escaped prisoner. He's there too, and he and Eliza have taken up with each other, kind of fancy. Eventually, David wants a pardon, so he agrees to take them back to the penal colony where they can you know, get a transport or a boat at some point um, in exchange for a pardon. But the Trevor Howard, who's in charge of the penal colony, uh, uh, does, doesn't give him a pardon. In fact, this other guy kind of screwed him over. So he ends up escaping again with the help of Eliza, and then we never see him again for quite a while. Uh, the captain is killed. Eliza manages to escape. And then we, they fast forward to sometime in the future uh, where she's back in London, I guess. And she's doing like a circus show with Rory. And they're telling this tale of how they survived the island with cannibals, this and that. And then David shows up and says, why are you telling this ridiculous story? Well, she and Eliza embrace. And then uh, Rory tries to turn David in as an escaped criminal. So David and Eliza have to escape out of town with her son. And uh, they do that, and then the last thing scene we see are David, Eliza, and Rory on a boat heading off to who knows where. Apparently they give us a prologue or epilogue that uh, Eliza and uh, David got married, and who knows. That's our movie. So anyway, that is Eliza Frazier. Again, uh, strange circumstances why I have this movie. It's not really a schlocky film. It's not really the type of film I would usually review in here, but I just figured why not? It's a rare film. I'm guessing... Hardly anybody has seen this film, and it, it actually deserves uh, some viewings. It's actually pretty entertaining. It's an hour and 52 minutes long, by the way. I looked last night. Somebody actually uploaded this movie to YouTube about a month ago. So as of right now, anyway, it is streaming, so you can find it if you want. There's a few nude scenes uh, thrown in. Susanna York um, 
has some topless scenes in this movie. Um, it's actually not a bad film. You know, it's just a strange little weird drama, a forgotten film for sure, um, but not bad. So anyway, check it out. Find it streaming. I will leave a link to YouTube if you want to buy this movie. If I can find it, I'm sorry, I'll leave, leave a link on Amazon if they are have it listed there. But check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think about Eliza Frazier. Watch it. Bye.